Hey, uh, my name's Asher. I'm a Cornell student here at the Physics Bus, and I'm here in the cage, the Physics Bus's premier lab for making scientific experiments and equipment. And I've got something that I'd like to show you guys. So, this is my exhibit. I call it the Four Ingredient Electric Tray. And all it is is really, I've got a tube right here, I've got a thing right here. Let's toss this right in and see what happens. Pretty neat, right? In one end, out the other. And I would absolutely love to tell you all about how this works, but before we do that, we've got to talk about magnets. Now, magnets, in my opinion, are some of those interesting objects that we encounter in our day-to-day -day lives um, because they're pretty much one of the only places where we can observe one of the four fundamental forces of the universe, um, aside from gravity, in action. Magnets are an example of the electromagnetic force. And part of what makes that really fascinating is that the electromagnetic force, and really the other two forces as well, the strong nuclear force and the weak nuclear force, are all much, much more powerful than gravity is. If you look at the physical equations for them, um, you'll find that the numbers used for gravity are actually much, much lower than the numbers used for the other forces. I mean, if you really think about it, I've got a screw here. Right now, this tiny little magnet is exerting more force magnetically on the screw than the entire planet Earth is exerting gravitationally on it. And I think that's, well, pretty dang neat. So, the reason I built this exhibit is because it lets me show off um, a really cool way that you can use that electromagnetic force. I call this the four ingredient electromagnetic trailer. Let's go over those four ingredients right now. First up, um, we've got this tube right here. Uh, what this is, I have like a little wooden mount here and a clear plastic pipe for just convenience to sake, really. But the important ingredient here is a coil of copper wire that is lining the inside of that tube. You can see the sort of brown color if you look, and the coiled aspect if you look closely. The other three ingredients are what make up this little doohickey here that actually goes into the tube. As you can see, uh, this is actually just a battery with a pair of powerful magnets attached to either end. So that's your four ingredients. That's really all you need to make this work. A battery, two magnets, and a coil of copper wire. Or just, you know, regular copper wire that you've coiled up. Um, and I want to be really clear. That's it. That's all that's at work here. There's no secret motor. There's no other power source. There's no wires connecting to something. It's just that. So how does that make any sense? Well, it all has something to do with a neat little interaction uh, that happens between the copper wire and the battery. See, if a, if a wire that's been coiled um, in the way that this wire has been gets electricity conducted into it, it creates something called an electromagnet. The electrical current generates a magnetic field just like a metal magnet would have. And so what happens is, when I put the battery into the tube, the electricity from the battery conducts into that coil through the magnets, creating an electromagnet that then pulls on these magnets and causes it to go forward. So why do we even care about this phenomenon in the first place? Well, first of all, electromagnets like the one I just showed you are actually a whole lot more common than you might think. Any electronic device that makes sound, like a doorbell or your headphones, uh, needs an electromagnet to produce those vibrations in the air. Any electronic device with a servo motor, like an electric fan, also uses an electromagnet to work. And second of all, my model in particular, this specific thing, could in the future become the basis for a sort of high-efficiency electric train uh, moving along a track that's designed to basically work like a giant coil of wire. Really, all you'd need to do is hollow out some space in the battery part where people could sit and, you know, make it human-sized. But, yeah. 
I hope you enjoyed and maybe even learned something today. And please, do try this at home. Stay curious, and thanks for watching.